Well, there are two major developments that need to be talked about today. Number one, uh, I've heard several uh, unconfirmed reports, but reports nonetheless, from the Times of Israel and also from Stratfor, that the U.S. Embassy uh, in Israel is going to be moving from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and will open in May. And there are also a number of uh, Israeli supporters who have taken interest in backing the cost of the uh, construction of the new Israeli embassy that the U.S. will be building in Jerusalem. And this is what the article says from the Times of Israel. It says the new U.S. embassy in Jerusalem will open in May of 2018 to coincide with the anniversary or the 70th anniversary of Israel declaring independence will be on the 14th. Two Trump administration officials said Friday. You know, other reports uh, when he when this was first done indicated that the uh, embassy would take several years to, to uh, uh, finally make it to Jerusalem. But it looks like they're not waiting a bit and they are going to have this taken care of sometime in May. Now, certainly that's probably going to be something of a groundbreaking ceremony. And who knows how long it will take to actually get that underway. But this is when they expect to begin the construction of this uh, U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. So that's a, a huge move uh, and tells the Palestinians that they, they, they need to get on their horse and begin to do what they know they're going to have to do. The, the U.S. is going to be a part of this plan. Whether or not they will finalize it is unknown. The Bible does say that when uh, the final peace accord is finalized, that it will be a seven-year peace accord that we finalized by somebody out of the European Union, but we'll see what happens. And speaking of the Trump Middle East peace plan, uh, there is another article coming out of the Times of Israel that says Trump's Middle East peace plan nearly ready, UN envoy says. And, you know, this is the one really I'm more concerned about. And this is what the article says. It's uh, the U.S. The United States ambassador to the United Nations said Thursday that a proposal for a long-awaited peace plan between Israelis and Palestinians is near completion. I think they're finishing it up, Nikki Haley said, when asked about formulations of a Middle East peace proposal during an appearance at the University of Chicago Institute for Politics. The news came a day after President Donald Trump's two, uh, top two uh, envoys on the Middle East, son-in-law Jared Kushner and advisor Jason Greenblatt, met with UN Secretary Council ambassadors and asked for their support of the upcoming peace plan. They're still going back and forth, Haley said, without offering specifics of when a proposal might be unveiled. The plan won't be loved by either side. And uh, it won't be hated by either side either. But it's a template to start work or start talking, she said. Well, frankly, I look for this plan to uh, develop in the next couple of weeks, next couple of months, uh, probably at the latest. And I think it will be presented before the May 14th anniversary. But I guess we'll have to wait and see exactly what comes of it. Certainly, Mr. Abbas is being belligerent about the... Uh, Peace proposal, but he was unable to get uh, the Europeans, the uh, UN, and most likely the Russians to get on board before the U.S. unveiled their plan. But as I said in my last video report, that uh, this is a big deal. And I will continue to give you play-by-play -play results until the plan is uh, uh, completely unveiled. But of course, some of the things that we need to start looking at are how many this will uh, uh, this plan will include, because it is a peace with many. The Bible also mentions that it will be a seven-year peace accord. So that may be something that we may have to keep looking for as well. Of course, it isn't known whether or not it will actually be mentioned that it's a seven-year peace accord. That may just be the timeline that God has indicating that it's a seven-year tribulation period. And at the halfway point, the Antichrist will break the treaty. So whether or not that will be stipulated in the, the agreement is unknown. Now, there's many in the uh, world of Bible prophecy believe that the wording of this uh, verse and chapter regarding the peace accord is that it will be confirmed and made strong. So some believe that a country or a group of countries may uh, at first bring this to the forefront and try to uh, push it on Israel or the Palestinians. But it will be at first it will be repelled and either Mr. Abbas or Mr. Netanyahu will tell them uh, this is not something that they want to uh, 
uh, get involved in. And then there'll be the Antichrist who will come forward at this point, and he will make it strong and confirm this covenant. Now, whether or not that will ultimately be the truth or not, I do believe that it will have to be made strong and confirmed, meaning that uh, probably Israel and the Palestinians are going to have to be forced into it to some degree. But I think ultimately, I, even though the Palestinians may say they do not want this agreement, I think the modern Arab world, because they desire a peace accord for protection reasons against Iran, they will somewhat force the Palestinians into this agreement. And, you know, for good reason. The Bible says in Ezekiel 38 and 39 that at some point in time that Iran would come down with a mighty army against Israel in what is known as the Gog and Magog War. And, you know, one of the nations that will protests will be Saudi Arabia. And the, this is one of the two main countries uh, in the modern Arab world that does want a uh, peace accord with Israel for the purpose of perfect, or protection against Iran. So here's something else that uh, Bible prophecy prophesied 2,500 years ago, and they selected the country that would be uh, what many believe is the Psalm uh, 83 war would be one of the nations that would attack Israel. But in fact, Ezekiel 38 says that they will protest the attack against Israel. But right now, let's go one step at a time, and that is, is we are about ready to witness a peace accord, I believe. Uh, I think the rapture is going to take place before that, but we're looking, I believe, at the beginning stages of that peace accord. And again, that's only one of many that I have listed in other videos, uh, prophecies that are coming to, together in this last generation that prove that we are living in the last days. And if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. Uh, it is a point on a man wants to die, but after that, the judgment. You know, 150,000 people will die today. They're going to face God. But the Bible says uh, at some point in time, they are going to be uh, cast into the lake of fire because they simply did not know the Savior. Don't let that happen to you. Come to the Lord, allow him to save you today. And you Christians, you need to get a copy of my tribulation period. Uh, survival guide your, your, your time is running out your window of opportunity to get your lost friend or loved one this book in their hands before the rapture takes place is closing so i'd recommend that you go down to the description section below this video get, click on the link and either get the digital copy which is written in nine different languages or the paperback version which you can personally hand to your lost friend or loved one knowing that they will have this book in their hand once the rapture takes place you certainly don't want the world to tell them how they need to react once the rapture takes place and the tribulation period begins. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.